Disgraced is basically about a Muslim American corporate attorney whose name is Amir, who has been hiding his Muslim origins from his colleagues at work. He is confronted by questions about his identity, which he had been working to uh, avoid. And uh, over the course of the centerpiece of the play is, is a dinner party scene where uh, basically his life unravels. When I was writing Disgrace, it was at a point in my career where I had very few prospects. <laughs> and I had been writing in the movies for a long time, eking out, if, it, if you will, a living. Um, with scripts that were not getting made. And I didn't really expect a lot of the work that I was writing to have an audience, oddly enough. I, I think all of the work that I'm engaged in currently is in direct dialogue with the world and in direct dialogue uh, with the Muslim world as well. And I think that my perspective on that is not a perspective of simply current events. It's a perspective of large tectonic shifts and movements and vectors that are at play between the West, so-called West, and the so-called Muslim world. The, the play meets the audience wherever they are. Some audiences are terrified about what's happening in the world today. Other audiences are inclined to try to find the beauty in Islam. Other audiences are, are confused about all of it. And so everyone is going to bring their own a priori's to the experience that they have. And one of the challenges is to create an experience that has enough suspense and also enough relatability that the audience can, can, can hook in. I am trying to create a rich and absorbing experience for the audience. I want the audience to lose the sense of themselves for 90 minutes and to emerge from an experience that they feel that they have had a very, very rich, confusing perhaps, but also absorbing experience that they are going to mull over, hopefully over the course of weeks, not just days.